The marker is the national animal of Pakistan, where it is also known as the screwhorn or screwhorn goat. The marker is a large capro species native to Central Asia, the Karakoram, and the Himalayas. It is listed on the Up and Red list as near threatened since 2015. The marker is the national animal of Pakistan, where it is also known as the screwhorn or screwhorn goat, marker in Urdu, from classical Persian. In recent years, the domestic goat has been getting quite the press for their adorable attributes and how well they play on social media. Videos of playful kids, hilariously screaming full-grown goats, and even yoga sessions on the farm can be seen across feeds. However, much like the derpy kogi is in stark contrast to its grey wolf ancestor, so too is the modern goat known, today. In the Himalayan mountain range, beneath the shadow of Mount Everest, is where Charles Darwin speculated that contemporary goat arose. With massive spiral horns that resemble a perfect corkscrew, standing as high as 6 feet, weighing up to 240 pounds, and with an epic beard extending from jaw to underbelly, the marker is what makes awe inspiring fairy tale goats now make sense. Marker is, a Persian word meaning snake eater or snake killer. In folklore, the animal is allegedly able to kill snakes with its spiral horns and then consume the serpents. There, after a marker has chewed its cud and spit it on the ground, the dried material is sought after by the local people, who believe it helps extract poison from snake bites. There is no evidence of markers eating snakes or killing them with their horns. Zoologists now either think the legend comes from the marker's ability to step on snakes and kill them with their powerful hooves or that their horns resemble the coiling of snakes. Ranging from northern India, Pakistan, Afghanistan to Turkestan, the marker live high in the mountains anywhere from 2,000 to 11,800 feet in elevation. They typically live in scrub, forests where they feed by gazing and reaching high branches standing on their hind legs. It is a known fact that the males use their corkscrew horns to battle one another for mating rights. Lunging at full force, they will lock horns until one can render the other off balance. Gestation lasts four to five months and results in the birth of one or two kids, though sometimes three. Females use their horns to protect their young from predators. Golden eagles have been reported to prey upon young marker, and mothers have been seen attempting to spare the winged predators. The marker is a large species of wild goat native to Central Asia. Its coat is of a grizzled, light brown to black color, and is smooth and short in summer, it grows longer and thicker in winter. The fur of the lower legs is black and white. Males have longer hair on the chin, throat, chest, and shanks. Females are redder in color, with shorter hair, a short black beard, and are manless. Both sexes have tightly curled, corkscrew-like horns, which close together at the head but spread upwards toward the tips. Makar are found in Central Asia, Karakoram, and the Himalayas. They occur in Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Jammu Kashmir, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. Makar are adapted to mountainous terrain with steep cliffs. They typically inhabit open woodlands, scrublands, and forests made up primarily of oaks, pines, and junipers. Makar are diurnal animals and are mainly active in the early morning and late afternoon. Their diets shift seasonally, in the spring and summer periods, they, graze, but turn to browsing in winter, sometimes standing on their hind legs to reach high branches. Marco live in flocks that usually consist of nine animals. These flocks are composed of adult females and their young. Adult males are largely solitary. Adult females and kids comprise most of the Marco population. These majestic animals have many predators and that's why possess keen eyesight, and a strong sense of smell to detect nearby predators. Makar are very aware of their surroundings and are on high alert for predators. In exposed areas, they are quick to spot and flee from predators. Their alarm call closely resembles the bleating of domestic goats. Early in the season the males and females may be found together on the open grassy patches and clear slopes in the forest. During the summer, the males remain in the forest, while the females generally climb to the highest rocky ridges above nine is the average number of marker living in a flock, composed of females and young. However, numbers can range to as large as 3100 during mating season. 
Males are primarily solitary as they live on the open grassy patches and clear slopes in the forests, while females and young tend to climb to the high rocky ridges above. Poaching for their unique horns and hunting for the wildlife meat trade are mostly to blame for the decreasing population of markors. Currently listed as critically endangered, the Pakistan government has made it the national animal and the mascot for their intelligence agency, Inter-Services Intelligence in hopes of spreading awareness and awe at the magnificent ancestor of the goat marker exhibit a polygynous mating system in which males mate with multiple females every single breeding season. They mate in winter, during which the males fight each other by lunging, locking horns, and attempting to push each other off balance. The gestation period lasts 135-170 days and usually results in the birth of one or two kids, though rarely three. The young are born precocial, fully developed, and are able to walk soon after birth. Mothers nurse and protect their kids within six months and after that, they become more independent. Young male and female marker become reproductively mature at 18 to 36 months. months.